Greetings, greetings everyone. Back with another video here. As I told you, I'm trying to really work on getting more consistent with putting out the videos. I've been getting, you know, good feedback and everything. And so, I know I've said it before, but I really mean it. This time when I say I'm going to do my darndest uh, to be more consistent with the content. But with that out of the way, as most of you know, the Denver Nuggets took a commanding 3 nothing lead in their opening round Western Conference playoff series against the Lakers of Los Angeles via a 112 to 105 defeat in the series. And I'm not this is not a kind of a, a breakdown analysis, a recap of the game, if you will. There's so many channels that have already done that, you know. <clears throat> you definitely go and, and check those out. And what I wanted to talk about really quick is, and I know a lot of people have been saying that the Lakers are going to be swept, and there's a good indication of that. Um, and I, I certainly believe that. And I want to talk about why real quick, because here's the thing, um, and, and I'm going to cut right to the chase. Quite frankly, as, as anyone who's watched the games or even going into the games should be perfectly aware that the the Denver Nuggets margin for error in this series was far wider than that of the Los Angeles Lakers because think about this <clears throat> game one uh, the Lakers came out and they played uh, for for large stretches of that game about as well as they could play obviously they built up a 20 point lead though I do wonder AD, because I got to get on you a little bit. I've been um, praising you because you have been balling, and I'm going to get back to that. Did y'all know the game plan when y'all was up by 20? I'm I, just asking for a friend. Just want to know. So <clears throat> you're up by 20. You got things rolling, and we, you know, what's that game two? Hold up. I'm getting my games mixed up. Was it game two? No, it was game one. I'm sorry. These games are running together. But at any rate, they blow the lead, right? They blow the lead. <clears throat> uh, Denver comes back and wins the game. And then um, game two, um, Lakers come out. And, 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 you know, they play well. But once again, um, <laughs> Denver should sort of walk them down and, and kind of, you know, carried it on home. And then in game three, as we know, the Lakers came out, particularly in the first quarter, they were playing very good basketball. Anthony Davis once again um, being dominant, um, and, and LeBron particularly in the first quarter was doing a great job of, of uh, getting in the paint, attacking, scoring easy baskets. And they had the, they had the Nuggets off balance for a, a, a lot of that, that first half. But then, as you know, <clears throat> what happened in the second half, particularly in the, the fourth quarter there. Um, I think Anthony Davis took one shot in the fourth quarter. I had the box score, but it's on my other device. But at any rate, it, in, that, in that instance, in terms of AD being underutilized uh, in the offense and kind of becoming an afterthought, that played itself out once again. And so I say all that to say that the, while the Lakers – for large stretches of this series have played some, well, not some, but they've played better basketball and, and in some cases some of their best basketball, and yet and still they find themselves down 3-0. While Denver, on the other hand, for large stretches, have not played their best basketball. Now what they have shown is the, the championship mentality uh, that this team has in terms of when they get down, they don't get rattled. Um, you saw that even in the game where they were down by 20, they just <clears throat> they took a bite out of that 20-point elephant one bite at a time. They whittled it down, whittled it down, um, tied it, you know, and, and we know what happened uh, with, with Jamal Murray hitting the game winner at the buzzer. And so they haven't even played their best basketball and they're on the verge of sending the Lakers home. So if they even play a semblance 
of of what they're fully capable of, they're going to run these dudes out the gym. It's not even going to be close. They're going to be on the other side of a 20-point deficit. And this is with <laughs> Anthony Davis. They've got... <clears throat> now, overall, Nikola Jokic is the best player in the association. Yes, I said it. But in this series, for large portions of this series outside of fourth quarters, Anthony Davis, when he's been out there, has been he's been the best player on the court. <clears throat> Let me give you some some numbers, and this is not to just throw stats, but this is just to kind of show how well he has played. He is averaging, was it 32 and 13 in the series? Yeah, 32 and 13. <clears throat> you know, it's funny, though. You haven't seen any, any uh, none of the, the media outlets have said, man, AD needs some help. He needs somebody to, to step up with him and play quality basketball, but he really is. But overall, this it, sh- it shows that uh, the difference between these two teams. Um, in Denver, you have a team that is competing for a championship that is a defending champion. I know they don't talk about it, but the Denver Nuggets are the defending champions. And then you have a team that just squirted by into the playoffs, and, and I'm not going to get into it play style and, and trying to blame this person or point the finger of blame. We can do another video for that, but <clears throat> I don't see this series changing because, as I, as I alluded to earlier, the Lakers, and this, again, comes from, from the, the age and, and the system that they run, they can't be consistent. They're, and their most consistent play is when they feature Anthony Davis prominently and run their offense through him but we know why that doesn't happen as much as it should and I won't delve into that but the fact that Denver has has not played up to their capabilities nowhere near and they're still up I mean if you're the Lakers whether you want to admit it or not as a competitor you shouldn't think that you're out of it but in the back of your mind you've got to be thinking my god we, we hit them with, you know, several power shots and body blows in game one. We were sharp. We lost. Game two, we came out and were sharp. We lost. Game three, we came out sharp. <laughs> Again, we lost. They have, Denver hasn't shot the basketball all that well this series. I believe they're shooting under 30% from three. Um, I think the Lakers may be sh- out shooting them from the field um, as well. So, again, we're seeing the difference in between these two teams. And, you know, a lot of us thought that this, it would go this way. But just to see the, the difference in, in terms of, <laughs> of one team, I don't want not sleepwalking and not stumbling, but haven't really found their rhythm. And they're still, you know, clicking enough to, to make it look easy in some instances. So... Uh, Saturday will be, uh, I guess, 48 minutes till Cancun for the Lakers. And um, it'll be time after the, after the game. They'll be starting to prep for whoever their next round opponent will be. Because at worst, it, it's going to go five. But I don't, like I said, I don't, I don't think it's going to go five. Denver's due to have a Denver Nuggets game. And when they do, they're going to they gonna clean up the Lakers in fairly short order. But... What do you think? Do you think that the Lakers can at least eke out a game uh, so they don't get swept again by the same team? Or is it, as as the old folks would say, all over but the shouting? So let us know in the comments section. And uh, I promise we'll be back with more videos very soon. Thank you for spending a few moments with us. And as always, make sure you tell the ones you love that you love. Peace.